Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. We meet again for lesson 21, the last lesson of chapter 4, predictable. I am Latifah Mamano. Metals account for about two-thirds of all the elements and about 24% of the mass of the planet. Metals have useful properties including strength, ductility, high melting points, thermal and electrical conductivity, and toughness. From the periodic table, it can be seen that a large number of, an, of the elements are classified as being a metal. At the end of this lesson, you should be able to describe the periodicity of elements across period 3 and down group 1 and group 17 for the following physical properties. Metallic character, melting point and boiling point. There are three trends of physical properties that we are going to discuss. There are metallic character, melting point, and boiling point. Firstly, let's look at metallic character. There are four properties of metals. First one, malleable, or can be shaped without breaking or cracking. Second, ductile, or able to be drawn out into thin wire. Number three is lustrous, which is similar to shining. And last one, good conductors of heat and electricity. In the periodic table, we also have metalloid, which is semi-metals. Semi-metals are poor conductor of heat and electricity, but the conductivities of metalloid can be increased by adding small amount of certain impurities. Metallic character is related with the removal of electrons from an atom. The easier the electrons can, that can be removed from an atom, the more metallic the element. Easy removal of electrons corresponds to large atomic radius or large atomic size and low ionization energy. Metallic character decreases across a period and increases down a group of the periodic table. Metallic character for metal is the highest, followed by metalloids and finally nonmetals. Periodic trends in the melting or boiling point. The melting or boiling point of a substance depends greatly on the type of intermolecular forces or bondings involved. This table shows the melting and boiling point of elements in period 3 of the periodic table. The variation of melting and boiling point of elements in period 3 can be discussed in three parts. The first one, metallic structure, which is from sodium to aluminium. Metallic crystals have positive metal ions attracted by a cloud of electrons. This bond is called metallic bond. Figure 4.10 shows the part of metal layer where the metal cations attract to C of electrons to form metallic bond. There are two factors that affect the strength of the metallic bond. First one is the number of valence electrons. The higher the number of valence electrons, the stronger the metallic bond. The number of valence electrons determine the charge of the positive ion, which is the second factor. The higher the positive charge, the stronger the metallic bond. From sodium to aluminium, we can see that sodium has only one valence electrons with positive one charge, while magnesium has two valence electrons with positive two charge, and aluminium has three valence electrons and positive three charge. The more valence electrons, the higher the positive charge, the stronger the metallic bond, therefore the higher the melting and boiling point. So from these uh, factors, we can uh, conclude that Aluminium has the strongest type, uh, uh, the strongest metallic bond compared to magnesium and sodium. Therefore, we can predict that aluminium will have the highest melting and boiling point. Next, giant molecular structure or specifically silicon. Each silicon is tetrahedrally bonded to the other four silicon atoms with strong covalent bond. 
The result is the formation of giant molecular structure of silicon. Diagram of covalent bond in silicon is shown in figure 4.11. Melting and boiling point of silicon is very high because of the strong attraction between covalently bonded atoms. So high energy is needed to break the strong covalent bond in melting or boiling process. Actually, covalent bond is stronger than the metallic bond. The strength of a bond depends upon the extent of overlapping of two electron clouds, which we will learn further in Chapter 5. Covalent bond means overlapping of two elect electron clouds. But in metallic bond, there is actually no overlapping between any two atoms. So we can conclude that the covalent bond is more stronger than a metallic bond. Therefore, silicon boiling point and melting point is higher than the melting point and boiling points of aluminium, magnesium and sodium. Simple molecular structure from phosphorus to argon. These are mainly the nonmetals that exist as molecules of P4, S8, Cl2, and Ar. Argon is the only monoatom because this is the uh, argon is the inert gas. The intramolecular forces, which is covalent bond between the atoms, is very strong. But the intermolecular forces, that is London dispersion forces or Van der Waals forces, is very weak. Okay, the intramolecular forces, okay, for example, we have the Cl. Intramolecular forces is between Cl and Cl. So this is what we call covalent bond. Okay, the bond called covalent bond. Okay, so this is the intramolecular forces. Okay, so the intramolecular forces here is strong because Cl and Cl share a pair of electrons. Okay, but between Cl2 molecule with another Cl2 molecule, the bond here we call it as intermolecular forces. And the intermolecular forces here is Van der Waals. Figure 4.12 shows the diagram of Van der Waals forces in phosphorus, sulfur, chlorine, and argon. The strength of Van der Waals forces depends on the molecular size. The bigger the molecular size, the stronger the Van der Waals forces. To determine the molecular size, we need to calculate the molecular mass of the molecule. From the uh, table 4.12, the list of melting point and boiling point, we can see that the molecular mass of sulfur S8 is the highest. Therefore, sulfur S8 has the strongest Van der Waals forces. That's why the melting point and boiling point of sulfur is the highest. For simple molecular structure from phosphorus to argon, the molecular size increases from argon to chlorine, Cl2, followed by phosphorus P P4, and the biggest is S8, sulfur. Therefore, the, me the melting or boiling point increases from argon, Cl, phosphorus, and sulfur.